fatty. I don't like this food. This is not what I want to eat. Well, I'm sorry. There is nothing else left in the house. We just have to manage this. If you want something else, you have to wait until later. From the report of the autopsy, it was obvious that she was choked to death by the smoke from what she was cooking. We thought so too. If I may ask, what was she cooking? Um, officer, she wasn't cooking anything. I only saw a pot of steaming water on the gas stove and her body lying on the floor when I entered the kitchen. Nothing else. Is she asthmatic? No. I ensured I conducted a thorough medical checkup before employing her to work for me. Okay. Um, that will be all for now. But I, I shall come back for further questioning if the need arises. No problem, officer. Thank you. Thank you. It's really good you come to stay with us at this period. I'm sure your former will like it. Yes, Uncle, but I still miss my mom and my sisters. Yes, I know, but uh, I'm sure they'll be fine. It's just a holiday. Uncle, could you stop at that Kali church over there? Please, I want to pray for some minutes. Is it really necessary at this time? We're almost home. Yes, it is, Uncle. I've made it a part of my daily routine, and I've made it a point of duty. To never miss that for anything. Okay. Let me turn. Thank you, Uncle. Sorry. Hallelujah. 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 He that dwells in the secret place of the Lord is protected. Is protected. Safe and sound, and by your right hand. You're protected, you're protected, and safe and sound. Hi, Jesus. How are you doing today? I'm sorry that I came late today, but I know you know the reason why. You know I'm new here. And I know you helped me settle in just fine. See you tomorrow, Jesus.
Are you okay? For some reason, I, I feel cold. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with you. Okay? It's the change in the environment that is affecting you. But as soon as you acclimatize, you will not feel cold any longer. So let's go inside. than the last time I saw you. <laughs> come, 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 come here. Good to see you. How are your parents? They're fine. Oh. Only well, please uh, boil some water. Let her take a bath. Mm, she looks tired and hungry. Let her get something to eat and then she can have a bath. Besides, food is ready. All right, sweetheart. Let's, Let's go to the dining. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, love. Thank you. Hey, baby. Your cousin is here. She'll be sharing your room with you throughout her stay here. Hmm? It's my pleasure to meet you, cousin. <sighs> Mirabel, there. You see? If Oma can be like this at times. Hmm? But with time, she'll get used to you and you two will be fine. Okay? Let's enjoy your stay here. Hmm? I will, Auntie. Have fun, girls. Okay. I don't share my room with anyone. I'm sorry, but there's nowhere else for me to stay. I don't share my room with anyone. If you can show me where else I can stay, I will leave. But if there isn't, then I have no other option but to stay here. I don't share my room with anyone! Stand up. Stand! Drop your box in there. That's your space. Sit down. Go and sit down. Honey? Yes? Did you notice uh, Ifoma's countenance earlier today at the dining when she saw Mirabel? Yes, I did. But um, I think it's normal. She's just surprised to see her. Sincerely, that doesn't seem like a mere surprise to me. I think Ifoma is not comfortable with Mirabel's presence. Come home, my dear. Don't talk like that. These are two cousins who are just meeting each other for the first time. So there must be some tension between them. I do not see those two becoming friends anytime soon. I mean, not with the way Ifoma reacted when I took Mirabel to her room. 
Well, I, I don't see it that way. Just give them some time. I am sure they'll get along. I hope so. Just hope so. So at least Maribel can have a pleasant holiday. Connie, she will have a pleasant holiday, okay? So can you now go to sleep? Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. It's bad enough that I have to share my room with you. Do not disturb me with your prayers. Is that not it for me? It is. I, I don't understand. I wasn't praying out loud. Then how? This woman! Why are you screaming this loud at this time of the night? Minabe, what happened? people deaf? Can't you talk? Auntie. Yes? Are you driving through the road that leads to the church? Yes, why? I want to join you. Please, can you drop me off at the church? Oh, that's not the problem. Hop in. Thank you very much, Auntie. Um, Mirabel, how are you going to come back? And walk, it's not that far. Oh yeah, that's true, it's not far. Let's go then. Auntie, can I ask you a question? Okay. It's about your daughter, Ifoma. What about her? Does she dislike prayers? <laughs> Mary Mel. No, if Oma doesn't dislike prayers, she just dislikes the noise it means, you know, during prayer. But I wasn't praying out loud last night, yet she screamed at me and complained that I was disturbing her. Um, Mirabel, dear, you see, if Oma is finding it difficult adjusting to you being in her room, you know she's used to being alone. That's why. Just give her some time. Hmm? Things will change and then um, it will be normal as it ought to be. Okay? I pray and hope so. I can't wait for her to join me when I pray. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Okay? You run along now. Bye, Auntie. Alright, bye, darling. Bye, Auntie. Bye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's protected and he's safe and sound. 
Why are you the only one sitting down here taking breakfast? Where is Mirabel? I don't know where the stupid girl is and I don't care to know. That is so mean of you. She's your cousin and you've barely stayed with her for two days and you have such resentment towards her. That's not nice. Please, as you can see, I'm having my breakfast. Allow me to eat this food in peace. Thank you. Otondo. Good morning, Jesus Christ. It's me again. It's not like you don't know or see all that is happening. But I just feel like I need to tell you. You saw what happened last night. So tell me, what do you think I should do? Of course, you know, not praying the rosary is not an option. So tell me, what do you think? Let me not bore you with my talks. So, how are you? And what is happening with you today? Must not allow her stay there. She's a big threat to our mission. You must do all within your power and reach to subdue her, destroy her, make her useless, to pave an easy way for our mission to prevail and be accomplished to its fullest capacity. Nothing must go wrong, no matter what. Take care of her once and for all. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Church, why? You are not allowed to go to any church. As long as you stay here, you must stay away from that church. Am I understood? I'm sorry, but whose order is this? My order. And you must strictly adhere to it. That can never happen. Both your parents know that I go to church every day. In fact, your mom was the one that dropped me off today. And she doesn't seem like someone who has a problem with my going to church. See why not? That's so sweet. Listen, I don't care what my parents think. My point is, you must stay away from that church, henceforth. Sorry to disappoint you, cousin. But no man or woman can stop me from going to church. Since no man can stop you, something else will. How dare you? Who are you 
to touch my things in this house. I wanted to help you keep it in a better place. Did I ask you to do that? Huh? Don't ever in your miserable life touch or come close to any of my things in this house. Else you have me to contend with. Good day, Uncle Gabriel. Mirabel, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> wow, you're cleaning the house. Hmm, that's nice. I wish a former who is older than you can at least for once do something good like this. I heard that. So I am now the subject matter for your gossip in this house, right? Gossip, you call it? Well, I can't gossip about you. Well, it's fine you're here. At least you can see little Mirabel, what she is doing. At least you can emulate her. Instead of sitting at home all day, doing nothing, lazying about. Oh, Mirabel, keep it up, eh? Beginning to bite more than you can chew in this house. If you don't mind your business, I'll make sure I put you where you belong. Thank you. So, Uncle, what are we celebrating? <laughs> We're just uh, seeing a movie. Oh, okay. Um, Uncle, I was actually meaning to discuss something with both of you, but I don't know if this is the right time. Hmm. Sure. 
What's the matter? You see, uncle, I think it's high time we got a new housemaid. The house has been very dusty lately. Though little Mirabel is trying her own little way, I think it's time a more matured hand comes into the picture. Hmm. You're right, you know. I have been thinking about it. You know, um, not to worry. I'll do something about it. Okay, that's all right. Get your glass and join us now. Oh, no. Oh, so those like me don't drink. <laughs> they don't drink this one. They drink that one that makes them turn up. <laughs> Hello, Auntie. <laughs> How are you, darling? I'm mm -hmm. fine, Auntie. Welcome, love. Oh, how baby. So this is our new house help, Christy. Welcome, Auntie Christy. Thank you. Uh, over there, it's my daughter, Ifoma. Hello, Ifoma. Good day. Okay, so let's get into your room. Ebu God, Ebu God. Shall I your business? We want this money. In this new house, no more insufficient funds. You should know I do not like you. Yes. You have been brought here to work. But please find your space. Do not, for any reason at all, cross my path. Okay? Hey, God. So now me, Christy, I don't suffer. Now me, this small girl, just open eye, the top to any help. I could just say, Father, forgive her. She doesn't know what she's doing. Maribel. Thank you, Uncle, but I'll do that later. By the way, Uncle, it's Lent. Why are you all eating? Mirabel, pray for me too. Uncle, I'm not going for prayers. But since you asked, I'll do so. If you're not going there to pray, then what are you going there to do? There's no mass going on or uh, catechism. I came to talk to Jesus. <laughs> it's the same thing as prayer. Okay? All the same. Um, take good care of yourself. And when you're going back home, be careful. Okay? Okay, uncle. It's all right. Lord, how are you doing today? I have come to visit you and I came with new gist for you. First of all, my uncle Anna Ayo that I came to visit, his family said I should pray for him. I don't know what he might want, Sha, but I know uncle Anna Ayo likes plenty money. So tell God to give him money, okay? Sweet Jesus, do you know that we now have a new maid? Her name is Christy. Since she's now here, I will have time to come and visit you often. And when I come, I won't be rushing home because of chores. Auntie Christy is there to help me. 
Eh, hey, Lord, do you know that Ifoma was saying I should stop coming to see you? She's even jealous because Uncle Gabriel the copper praised me because I am hardworking and not lazy like her. Do you know I spoke to everyone today about observing Lent? They didn't tell me yes or no, but I'm sure they would do it, even if it's for a day. Why are you influencing everyone with your talks about church? Hmm? Look, let me warn you. We are okay the way we are. And we are not complaining. Besides, we have not said God is far from us. So stop influencing anyone. What did I do wrong? Ever since I entered this house, I noticed no one fasts or attend mass. What is wrong with me pointing it out? Everything is wrong with it. You're not the only one in this house. Besides, you're the youngest and should stay within your age limit. Stop acting like you're some adult or that we don't know the right thing to do. But I only just said it. It's left for the elders in the house to decide if what I said is useful or not. Why are you getting angry? Do you have a problem with God or going to church or even fasting? That is none of your business. I've made my point clear to you. Stop talking to anyone about your church activities. This will be the last time I warn you. Honey? Hey. 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 What's your idea about what this child said in the morning? Yes, I say I was going to talk to you about it. Mm. Um. It won't be good for us not to participate in the land. So are you saying we fast as well? Of course. We can start tomorrow. It's a very good challenge from such a small girl. If she can honor land, why can't we? I mean, even we, we that are adults. Besides, there are a lot of blessings attached to things like that. True. True. Um, all right then. This how many we join in the fasting. Tomorrow, I will talk to Christy about it. But then, most importantly, it has to be willingly. You don't force people to fast. I know. Whoever cannot get to 6 p.m. can do 12 or 3 p.m. like Mirabel is doing. Good. Why is breakfast not ready yet? Look at the time. Or oh, don't you know people going to work, we need to eat? Well, Lent has started in this house. And what is that supposed to mean? How can Lent start in this house and no one told me anything about it? Is that how little you people regard me in this house? Go and get me my breakfast. Now. Sorry. I am following instructions from Madame. Well, I can't fast. And I'm sure you know you don't force someone to fast, else it will become hunger strike. Go and get me my food. Like I said, I cannot disobey Madame. If she says I should give you food, I will do so without complaining. Excuse me, I have something to do. <laughs> Mommy, what's going on in this house? Why is it that no one considers me as anything in this house? Is it because I'm not a boy? Honey, why are you saying such a thing? You're my daughter and the queen of this house. Then why do you people decide to fast and no one told me anything about it? Come oh, on, darling. I wanted to tell you, but we're fast asleep. So I thought I was going to tell you this morning. Hmm? For me, I can't fast, though. And I'm sure you know trying to force someone to fast will turn to hunger strike. I'm not in the mood to fast. It's okay. 
Besides, you are still a child. So go and tell Christy to give you something to eat. Oh, now, honey. Uh-uh. Mirabel, that is not up to her age, is fasting. She can do at least 12. Honey, let her be. Maybe next time, she will try fasting. Maybe by then, she'll be older and wiser, okay? But for now, let her eat. Eh? I won't pray I will cover you, okay? Sorry. Thanks, Dad. It's all right. Mm -hmm. You're indulging this girl. You are indulging her. I've spoken to my parents. They said you should give me food. And you have to wait for me to confirm from Madame first. I just said I spoke to my parents. And... Get her something to eat. She won't be partaking in the fast. Eh? Yes. Ma okay, and then take care of the house. I'll see you get later. All right, baby. Take care of the house. And it should be brought to my room. I don't want to eat at the dining. I'm very hungry. Hurry up. Have you seen what you and your many church talks have cost? What? Making everyone in the house fast. I didn't force anybody. I just pointed out what I noticed. And the next thing, everyone in the house is fasting. Except me, of course. I'm sure you can see that. You're free to have a taste if you want. I can be generous sometimes, you know. Hmm? Yeah. Thank you, but I'm not interested. What are you doing here? What do you mean by what am I doing here? This is my room and I can go wherever I want. I can even stand wherever I want. How long have you been standing here? Is that question for me? You're the guest in my room. Or will you now tell me where to go and where to stand in my own room? Wait, why am I even answering you? I should be the one asking you why you're shouting and disturbing me in my sleep. When you're done kneeling there, turn off the light. Uncle Gabriel, do you need help? <laughs> Me, Abel. See, if I want help, is definitely not from you, okay? But uncle, I'm not lazy. You know that I can help you. Mirabel, I know you are not lazy, but you can keep me busy with your mouth. Exactly what I came to do. Uncle, can I tell you something? Yes, go ahead. As you can see, I am busy with my hands. My ears are free, so I'm listening. Last night, I woke up from sleep and I saw a former standing by my bedside with her eyes red like fire. It's as if she wants to harm me. <laughs> Mirabel, that is not possible. Things like that are not real. They only happen in movies. 
Uncle, I'm not joking. When I turned on the lights, she was still standing there, but this time around, her eyes were normal. <sighs> um, Mirabel, it's your imagination. Okay? As for her, standing next to your bed, it is her room. So she can possibly stand wherever she likes. Uncle, you don't believe me, right? Mirabel, I don't believe in things like that because they don't exist. Look, when you start thinking about something so much, you know, they start playing in your head. And before you know it, you start dreaming about them. That is why people eat in their dreams. So, it is your thoughts. My dear smart Mirabel, things like that don't exist. They are not real. Okay? They are not. Nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Why did you drop these clothes here? They are my dirty clothes. Uh -huh. For who to wash them for you? Are you not washing? My friend, you better pick these clothes and wash them by yourself. Because if small Mirabel can wash her clothes, you, an adult, should be able to wash yours. Well, I am not Mirabel. And I can't be washing my clothes when you're here. Of what use will you be to me if you're here and I still have to do so many things for myself? Come and pick these clothes and wash them by yourself. Because I will not touch them, oh. I won't touch them. Come back here! Come and pick them and wash them. You are no longer a kid. You should learn how to do things by yourself in this house. So you have refused to wash my clothes. I told you I will not wash them. You're a grown girl. You should learn how to do some things by yourself before it is too late to learn. Are you waiting for me to come and beg you before you wash them? Beg? Even if you beg me, I will still not wash them. Not for a rude girl like you. You're calling me rude? I'll show you how rude I am today. I refuse to say a word. Talk to me. What really happened? I fell down inside the bathroom. Oh, 
God. Please be careful next time, okay? Thank God there's nothing serious. Christy? Yes, ma. Please take her inside and get her something to eat so she can rest. Don't bother yourself. I'll be fine. Oh, please. Christy, please. Come in. Auntie, what are you doing? I am packing. Look, I don't want to work here anymore. I am leaving. If Madame decides not to pay me for the days I have worked, no problem. I just want to leave. Auntie, do you think she will allow you to go? Okay, let me ask you. What do you say is the reason that you want to go? I don't have to wait until I die before I have a reason to leave. Mirabel, I have just one life and I'm not about to waste it here just like that. Do you think they will believe you if you say what you saw? Auntie, what will become of me here? Will you be happy if anything happens to me? These people are not your parents, Mirabel. I will advise you cut short your holiday and go back home to your parents. Huh? Leave before something worse happens to you. Please stay. Stay and help me expose the former so that we can save the other family members. Please. But why did you lie? If you really want to expose her, why did you lie? Because I don't want to say the truth right now. I need a better time and chance to do so. I need your help, please, Auntie, please. Okay, I will stay, but not for too long. So whatever plans you have, come up with it very fast, so that we can live here alive. Auntie, thank you. Where did you get the power to do what you just did? Does it matter? At least now you know what I can do. So just be careful and stay out of my business. Else. Wait. If I'm at your parents know the power that you possess. <laughs> Is it supposed to be their business? Huh? Now that you have seen and felt it for yourself, you better be careful because one day I might just change my mind, especially when I'm provoked. Okay? God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me call the Father, tis the child written to thee. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy, let me not implore in vain. All my sins I now detest them, never will. Look at that. <laughs>
are you praying and disturbing the peace in this house? Me? I'm not praying loud. I'm praying silently and I'm not disturbing anybody. I might not have to warn you again. This will be the last warning I'll give to you. Stop praying in this house. If you do it again, I'll deal with you. Telling the truth, Father. I've witnessed her use her power. She has some strange power. My face, her threat to me. She said I shouldn't pray in the house again. That means your prayer have effect on her and the power controlling her. Have you told anyone about this? The only person that knows about this is the girl in the house, the maid, and that is because she used her power on her. But I saved her, and I tried to talk to Uncle Gabriel about it, but he said he doesn't believe in spiritual powers. Then the first thing to do is to talk to your uncle and the wife. Father, they will not believe me. I don't mean you. I will talk to them by myself. My problem is they don't attend mass like every other family. So seeing them is a problem. They attend mass occasionally. Father, I think you should talk to them first. That's the most important thing. Then tell them to come and see me. If the both of them can come, that will be very helpful. Do not tell them the reason. If not, they will not come. Thank you, Father. You have to continue praying. Do not let her threat get to you. If not, she will conquer you and destroy the family. You are the only grace that family has right now. May the Lord be with you. So, like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine. You're back from church? Yes, uncle. I saw the priest on my way back and he said he wants to see my uncle and auntie that I stay here with. So I said, let me come and inform you. Thank God both of you are here. He wants to see us. Did you do anything wrong? What's his reason? He didn't tell me. He just said he wants to see the both of you. And he said that it's urgent. And he didn't tell you why? Excuse me, uncle. Uh, well, honey, we'll make a turn to go and see him. So what do you think? Okay, then we'll see him later. Would you like to take some? Thank you. Honey, hope Mirabel hasn't done anything wrong. Something like what? I don't think so. There's nothing like that. Mirabel is a good and obedient girl. I'm sure the priest must have seen her dedication in coming to church regularly and decided to see her guidance. That's all. Uh, that's not enough for him to want to see us without telling her his own reasons. What if he wants to talk to us about giving her all the encouragement she needs? Let's just make our time to go and see him. Besides, there are a lot of blessings. The cinema of God. Yeah. No problem if you say so. Uh, maybe we'll go in the evening then. Informa. 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 Informa, 
There is fire on the mountain. You need to act fast. The church girl in your house is planning more programs for us. And right now she's taking your parents to the church to meet the priest. And if you don't act fast, things will turn from bad to worse. And we don't have much time. I will do my best to stop her. You don't have to worry. I'll handle her. This is not time for pleasure, but time for war. Act fast before she gains more ground. Thank you, Your Highness. Did you tell the priest that made him say he wants to see my parents? I'm sure your parents didn't tell you why they went to see the priest. Obviously, they will tell you when they return. Just be calm. I am not here to joke with you. You better stop whatever it is you think you're doing. I'm not doing anything. And I'm sure you know that. Listen. If you don't stop what it is you think you're doing, I'll deal with you. I'm sure you know what I can do, right? She said she has seen her act with the powers you possess. This is the reason I invited the both of you here. So that you will be in the know. Your daughter will need deliverance. As well as every member of your house. This is to protect you from spiritual attack. <laughs> um, thank you, Father. I know my daughter very well. If she has a problem, I will know. And if she's acting strange, I will know. <laughs> Father, Ifoma is very fine. I'm sure Mirabel doesn't know what she's saying. Yes. Or maybe... Because they've not been getting along since she came. Mm. But she believes there's something wrong with the former. I will not force you to believe what you feel is not true. All I will do is to advise and ask you to do the right thing. Father, you, you know children and the way they think because of the things they see in movies. No. This is not movie. Mirabel spoke to me with much confidence. Like someone who is sure of what she's saying. So I had to believe her. Hence, I invited both of you over. Father, thank you for your concern over our daughter. May the Lord be with you. I mean, your spirit. Bow your head, let us pray. Mirabel, if you noticed anything about your cousin, why tell a priest first instead of us? He took what's supposed to be a family matter outside the house. Honey, I am very sure her intentions are for good. So let's not blame her too much. What exactly did you notice that made you tell the prince, my daughter Ifoma is possessed with a strange spirit? Eh? I know both of you don't get along so well. Why God say she's possessed with a strange spirit? That she doesn't let you touch her, her things and, and stay in her room is not enough reason for you to, to, to start black. Her is okay. It's okay. They are both children. And like I said, she has no bad intention. So let's not scold her any further. As for going to tell the priest, I am sure she has good intention towards her cousin. Auntie, I'm really sorry. I, I never knew it was a mistake not to tell you before. I'm really sorry. Auntie, Uncle, please forgive me. It's okay. Get up. Get up, Please get up. forgive me. Get up, get up. Don't do 
please. Look, I know you mean well towards your sister, okay? Whatever you mean, whatever you mean. Uh -uh. You should at least tell us first, not telling the priest. I sincerely don't like it. Honey, I said it's okay. Uh -uh. She's just a child. Look, Mirabel, next time, tell us first, okay? God. Lord, do you know that my auntie was angry with me today because I discovered that her daughter Ifoma is possessed? I'm sure she doesn't know, hence she is angry. I don't even know what to do because she has already threatened me. Lord, what do I do to help her? I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Wait, let me ask you. Between coming to tell a priest and telling my auntie, which is right? I know you say the priest, but my auntie is angry about that. But next time, I will first of all tell you about it, okay? That way, nobody said I did wrong. I was surprised that they were angry with me. I knew I didn't do anything. If I had told them, they would not have believed me. So I decided to come and meet you so you can talk to them and convince them to take you from her for deliverance. Mirabel, you have to be very careful and protect yourself. I will give you some prayers to say. The prayers will help you stay safe. Thank you, Father. Say your rosary regularly and also read your Bible. I will give you this prayer book. But when you are about to go back to your parents, you can return it to me. Okay, Father. One more thing. Do not forget to always visit your friend Jesus. Okay? May the Lord be with you.
What is wrong with you? Are you alright? No. Do you realize this is the second time today? No. I don't know what's wrong. Sorry. How did you do that? Do what? I saw you, even this morning. Somehow I feel you're the reason Auntie Christie is acting the way she is. So what if I am? What will you do about it? You know, it's really good that you've seen me for what I really am. So be warned. Be careful. Because you might be the next one on my list. I don't know what you are up to. But I know I would not let this happen. Oh, I'm so scared. I'd really like to see what you can do about it. Ifoma, I left my rosary here before I went to take my bath. Did you see it? I didn't see anything. But I left it on the shelf. Then look for it on the shelf and stop bothering me.
If I'm not, what happened to her? Um, Daddy, I don't know. I heard her scream from sleep and I woke up and... Is she okay? I don't think so. We need to call the doctor. Please, please. Why can't I kill her? Why is this little girl too strong for me? How is she, doctor? Is she, is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. All her vital signs are okay. <sighs> I'm good. But, I don't know. The reason for her not to be able to talk nor move her body is what I really need to figure out. And I... So I need to conduct a test on her. Please do, doctor. Please. Uh, doctor, I hope she'll be fine. Yeah. She, she will be fine. Just calm down. Okay. Honey, it's been three days now. Mirabel is still lying helpless. Eh? She's not showing any sign of recovery. Medically, there's nothing wrong with her. What do we do now? I'm equally worried. And I don't know what to do. I am totally confused. I would like to suggest that we, you know, inform her parents about her situation. They might have a solution to the problem. No, I, I think that is not a good idea if you ask me. It will send a wrong message. So I would suggest we still hold on and watch over her for some time. I would like to agree with Gabriel. He has a point. Mm. Mirabel is my niece and like a daughter to me. I would like to stand by her at this uh, trying period. And informing her parents would be like sending a bad signal. And that would make them to worry. Okay. If you say so, it's fine by me. Let's just hope she gets well soonest. Oh, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy own Jesus. So, oh, even in this state, you still want to be a thorn in my flesh, right? I will sniff life out of you. I promise you that. You are not a giver of life, so you can't take my life. I shall bring darkness into your life and make you miserable. You can't inflict any harm upon me, for he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. I will show you I am greater than who you think is in you. Father, into your hands I commit my life. Save me from the hands of any adversary. Please help and protect me. Fight and show yourself mighty and strong over my life. screamed and fell. Are you okay? Christine, what is wrong? Talk to me. Christine, hmm? go ahead and tell us what happened. Please. Amy, she's not talking. I think she's still in shock as a result of the fall. 
she needs time to get us. Maybe she'll tell us that. We heard her scream out loud. We rushed to her room, and then we saw her on the floor, lying almost unconscious. And did she say what happened? No. <laughs> Honestly, honey, I'm scared, I'm, I'm worried. I'm beginning to see reasons for the statement of the priest concerning the strange happenings in this house lately. Huh? I am confused too. Mirabel is lying almost lifeless in the room. Now, Christy. Uncle, what are you all confused and worried about? I can't see anything strange in this whole issue. It's just, it's just a coincidence of ugly happenings. A mere coincidence? Gabriel, can't you see? Look. We all should remember that the priest warned against all these things. And they're beginning to happen. Come on, uncle. Don't tell me you believed that crap of a story. You of all people should be well informed. And don't allow anyone manipulate you into believing that some spirit or ghost is about controlling your home. Uncle, something like that doesn't exist. It's just fabrications of the mind. Gabriel. Gabriel. Ha. I hope things don't get worse than as it is already. Come on, auntie. It will not. Nothing will happen. Just have peace of mind. Please. Nothing will happen. This, this is not nice. Thank you. You will not. The same brush. Honey? Yes, dear. Let's go. Okay. Pick one of these. Um, mommy. Yes? I forgot my research inside. Ah, oh, not now. Hurry up, hurry up. I mean, just give me two minutes. Quick, quick. Hello, dear. Please help me with one. Two right. meters outside. Okay. Okay, please get the dog. Thank you. Sweetheart! There you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh wait, I haven't. <laughs> I told you but you wouldn't listen. Now you're exactly where you deserve to be. Very hopeless and helpless. I just thought I would be kind enough to come and inform you that the entire family is going out for picnic. And too bad. You're going to be left out. But you know why you weren't involved in the first place? Or you weren't informed that we're going out? That's because you're a total stranger. And this is only for real family members. And you are not family. So stay here and mourn your pathetic self while real family go out and have fun. Oh, oh, and one more thing. Do not even by mistake urinate on this bed because you have me to contend with. <laughs> Do not be scared, my daughter. It's I, your father. I have come to visit you. I have waited for you for days, and you didn't come to say hello to me, as usual. So, I decided to come and see you myself. Father, it's not my wish not to come and see you. 
but it's due to my condition. It's really fun going out as a family. I really enjoy myself. <laughs> Honey, you can say that again. I think we should go out more often. Yes, okay. so. <laughs> Mommy! Yes! Daddy! Mommy! Yes? Mirabel is not in the room. What do you mean she's not there? Please, I've had enough for today. I don't think I have time for your pranks. Mommy, this is not a joke or a prank. I said she's everywhere. She's not there. This is serious. We need to go see for ourselves. <laughs> Do not be discouraged, my child. Fear not. For I have seen all that you have gone through for my sake. For I will uphold you in righteousness. I will torment all that troubles you. Peace like a river will you experience all the days of your life. Thank you, Father. But what must I do to save my family? The battle ahead is not easy, but I know you can do it. I'm scared. I am with you. I am with you. What must I do? Ah. Honey, mm -hmm. what kind of rubbish is this? Christy, check who's at the door. Ah. Who's that? <coughs> What's that? Come, oh, darling. You got us all worried. Even Chrissy didn't see you leave the house. Hmm? What is happening here? Mirabel, where did you go and how did you manage to get up? and go out on your own. You look so healthy. You don't look sick anymore. What happened? Please tell us, you got us all scared. I still can't believe what is happening here. Before we left the house, you were lying down incapacitated like a vegetable. Now this, I mean, what kind of magic did you do? I didn't do any magic. Then tell us what you did and stop wasting our time. It's simple. Jesus came to see me, and together we went out. Jesus? Yes. Protected, is protected, and safe and sound. 
finding it funny. I don't sleep well, and I feel sleepy during the day. That is the little sacrifice you will have to pay, so that you will be able to save yourself and your family. But they don't know what I'm going through, and they will not appreciate it. You are not doing it for anyone to appreciate your work, but you are doing it for God to bless you and save you. So do not be tired. Do not relent in your prayers because the battle has just begun. Lord, am I not small to do the task? Your age does not stop you from helping people or praying for them. So do your best and leave the rest. Your commitment shows how far you can go. Do not worry for I am behind you. This is why I always come to you. Because you will always be there for me. I will always be there to help you as long as you keep praying and working hard. Your prayers are already doing wonders and you do not know it yet. are not going the way they are supposed to. I am getting weak and tired. I do not know what to do. I need help. Are you saying you are allowing a small girl to defeat you? I do not know what she uses on me. But I am so tired and worn out. If things continue like this, I might lose. And that is what I cannot afford to let happen. I need backup. Backup you will get. But how strong are you to cooperate with the backup? If you cannot carry or withstand the power coming, it may take your life. So, get ready. The message will be sent to you in due time. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you.
you're the one that came to rescue me last night. And that's why I just came to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. You just have to remain strong. Keep saying your prayers and burning your incense when you can. I'll do my best. But when is the battle going to end? Are you tired already? It's not like I'm tired, but I'm not used to this. That's why I asked. Just a little just, more just, because just, just little you little are the final little stage little of the battle. Little battle. Little battle. Little battle. Little battle. But this stage is more dangerous, so you have to be careful. You might be seeing more than one force, so stay calm and keep saying your prayers. God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me call thee Father, tis thy child returns to thee. Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy, let me not implore in vain. All my sins I now retest them, never will I sin again. Look with pity upon me Father, let me call thee Father Tis thy child returns to thee Jesus, Lord, I ask for mercy Let me not employ in vain All my sins I now detest
You see what I was saying? That Mirabel meant well for her cousin. This goes to prove that she actually saw something and went to where she knows the problem will be solved. How does what you're saying now help the children? Eh? Let's find a way. I mean, let's take them to the hospital. Then you can say what you want to say later. Ah. So when you take them to the hospital, what will you tell the doctor that happened to them? I'd rather that they, that, they, that they stay there for some time. Maybe the angels are working on them or something. You can see that they are still breathing. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. Rabbi, are, are, are you okay? I want to thank you for everything you have done for me. Thank you very much. It's okay, cousin. I did it for you just like I would do for any other person. For you, my sister, I would do so anywhere, anytime, any day. I also want to thank you for this. You're welcome. Come and try this, my gown. I'm sure it will look good on you. It's too short for me. <laughs> Honey, hmm? what are we waiting for? The children. <laughs> Uncle, good evening. Good evening. Um, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Um, where is everyone going to? We're going to church for Stations of the Cross. Oh, wow. How come I am not aware? Okay, just give me three minutes and I'll be ready. Please. I thought you didn't like going to church since you never believed God existed. Auntie, you know we we'll learn every day. So please, just give me three minutes and I'll be out. Just three minutes, please. Don't worry, Uncle Gabriel. We'll wait for you. Yeah, that's a new <laughs> All right. I'm ready, right, man. 